Hello guys, today let us see how to solve a UVL problem in ANSYS. A uniformly distributed load problem is pretty much similar to that of UDL, but it differs in few steps. Here we have a simply supported beam on which there is a UVL ranging from 0 to 30 kN per meter over a span of 0.4 meters. Also we have an anti-clockwise moment here of magnitude 20 kN meter which is acting in Z direction. Now let us see how to solve this problem in ANSYS. Go to preferences, set it to structural and click OK. Define the element here. This is beam, so beam element and also it is 2D analysis, so 2D node 188. OK and click close. No need of real constants for beam element and let us define the material here. Two e five point three. Okay. Now let us define the section. Let us consider a square section again here. Okay. Now we'll start the modeling. We'll create key points first and then the lines. First one is origin. Okay, we have created the key points here. Now we'll start drawing lines, straight lines. Okay. Now let us start meshing. We will divide each line into four elements. You can divide it into more elements, but for computational purposes, we are considering that. Now let us start meshing. I'll select a box in which I'll select all these elements and I'll mesh it now. Now go to plot controls. We will give the element numbers. Okay. On these four elements, we have UVL. So we will apply load on that. Now let us start applying loads. This is static analysis. So static, okay. We will apply the roller support and hinge support first. We have a hinge support here. So we will constrain it first. Okay. We have a roller support here. Okay. So let us start applying the moment first. We have moment at the end of UVL, so we will apply it here. Moment about Z axis, whose magnitude is 0 0.02 kilo Newton per mm. Okay. Now we, we have to apply the pressure on beams. The pressure is from fifth to eighth element, but we don't know how much pressure we should we have to apply. Now let us see how to compute this. This is the uniformly varying load. Let us consider it as a triangle. Here you have zero kilo newton per meter. Here you have thirty kilo newton per meter. By similar triangles property, you can write thirty by w equal point four by x. In this way, you can find the resultant load at any point. As we have divided the 4 meter span into 4 divisions, sorry, 0.4 meter span into 4 divisions, each one is 0.1 meters. So, by this, we can calculate 
the resultant load at each point is 7.5, 15, 22.5, and 30. Now select this. You have to select the load key number 2 as we are applying in y direction. So it ranges from 0 to 7.5. Now we have to apply load from 7.5 to 15. Now 15 to 22.5. This is not very accurate method, but we have to write a code in order to get accurate results. But this will this will give satisfactory results. So this is the UVL which we have given. Now let us solve this problem. Solve from current load step. The solution is done. Go to general post processor and view the results here. This is the deformed shape of the beam. In order to see the bending moment diagram and also shear force diagram, you have to define the table. We have given the labels here. Now you can see the bending moment diagram and shear force diagram by going to plot results, control plot, nodal solution. Sorry, line line element results. Three and sixteen. See, this is the bending moment diagram here. If you want to see shear stress distribution, now select. 6 and 19 this is a shear force distribution along the beam you can also see the results in plot results so that for documentation purpose in this way you can solve the UVL problem if you have any doubts please post it in the comment section below thanks for watching subscribe for more videos thank you